I should not give like a whole bio documentary like 80 years of my life. You know, well, I'm only 32. But um, I would probably say I started out drawing at the age of five. And I was born in 1985. But I like even numbers. So I don't know why to say that, but I had to say it. I'm a big fan of just um, having multiple um, skills I can do on the canvas or on paper. It's like having a Swiss Army knife, you know, your brain, you know, like, you know, I got a screwdriver and a knife, you know, it's like MacGyver, you know, I can do a lot of things with the canvas, you know, if I feel compelled to like, you know, do a certain topic, you know, you know, like the Zulu works is a certain um, format of classical painting styles and a little, you know, abstract loose brush strokes on it. Uh, you got the rodeo work, which is you know a compilation of looking at Francis Bacon and looking at Matisse and Van Gogh, and I mean the Humanity series is you know me looking at you know uh, neo abstract expressionism and you know just Matisse like just using color for what it is you know in my um, in my own thought process. Zulu is based off of uh, just New Orleans culture, you know. When I see black and white face paint, you know, I don't think about Sambo and, you know, menstrual cycles, you know, even though it's a part of the history of that. You know, New Orleans is like a bubble. So, I mean, we still say cold drinks, you know, for sodas. So, for me, you know, put a black face on a person and it dealing with Mardi Gras, to me, it has something to do about culture and festivities more than race and you know um, you know social identity and, and, and racism. So when I created it, I wanted to interconnect, intertwine the corruption of you know politicians when they say they're gonna like give you something on their campaign trails, and they just throw out whatever they can do to get you on board. You know, I kind of like parallel that with how. Um, the Zulu float riders are when they give you a coconut. You actually got to go up and ask for one. You can't throw it. So, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll like reach out to you and hand it to you, you know. And the bees, they throw it at you. They give you cups, you know, they give you all this stuff. You know, you feel good, but you have all this stuff. And then you just have it sit there at your house, you know. And same thing like with politicians, you want them to do all this stuff. You know, they get in the office and they might not do it, what you ask them to do. So, and plus, you know, Mardi Gras on Fat Tuesday and Election Day is also on Tuesday. So, to me, all like, it had to go to go with each other. It's just, when you're on a date, everything goes great, right? When you have everything in common, right? So, it had to go together. So, I don't know if it's a one night stand or if it's like, you know, a, a bad continuous relationship. Um, I think the Zulu did what it needed to do uh, for me as an artist when I created it. But when it came to Years later of me showing it after Trump got into office, it, it exploded people's minds, you know, like that people are in blackface, you know, have the people that don't like it, maybe not, are not from here, but we're in this political climate where everything's like, you know, a little like touchy, you know, everything's a little too hot, you know, it looks, everything looks cold, but it's too hot at the same time. So it's like, you gotta do heat checks on things. So um, yeah, the, the work was never created to be you know, controversial. It is based off the culture of where I'm from, where I lived at my whole life. Keep in mind the sensitivity of different topics. I never want to be a person who does an Emmett Till painting and have, you know, an abstracted face of somebody who's probably somebody's uncle, you know? No matter if he's a child and this looks so far in the past, that was, that's not too long ago. These people, you know, have feelings too. But to me, I try to stay clear of that. But politicians, public figures, you know, they represented us, you know, we put them in office, so 
I try not to go into a route of having controversy, you know. I just create the work that deals with where I'm at, you know, in this society, where we're at at the time. I mean, I try to be very conscious of what I put out and how I execute it. So I never try to do anything for shock. Shock art is bad, remember that. I need to make a button, shock art is bad. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. <laughs>